it's worth nothing because other people believe that it's worth something so the one and only thomas petrify just dropped the bomb he said that he doesn't believe that bitcoin has value but he owns bitcoin and he's buying bitcoin and he holds bitcoin simply because other people are saying that it will go higher other people are saying that it has value this is the only reason he actually buys and holds bitcoin i i, I really don't have a view on that you don't have a view on, on, on the price of crypto, of no, why? It no, no, not at all. I, 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 you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's, it's worth nothing. But, uh, you know, if I, I, I own some, even though I believe it's worth nothing, because other people believe that it's worth something. So, so you, own, you believe it's worth nothing, but you own some because you think other people, other people believe it's worth something. Exactly. <laughs> Um, is that I, how do you think about that as an investing strategy? Do you, are there other things you own like that? Well, you know, I yeah, sure. I mean, uh, you know, the stock market is going up, even though I believe it should be much lower, right? So yes, I I I would not say that people should not own stocks because it's going up, even right. though I think it should be lower. OK, so let, but let, let's just uh, key in on that for a second, because uh, I did want to talk to you about sort of where you think the market should be. You're saying you think the market should be lower in, in much in, lower. In, yes, much I, lower. I, I, so we're talking I about the Dow, the, the S&P, everything. I think the market should be about 20 percent lower. I think that, uh, you know, earnings by the time the, the, the interest rate uh, works its way through the economy, the high interest rate uh, earnings will be about, on the S&Ps will be about 200, and 15 times earnings should be about uh, 3,000. Wow. Okay, so a lot lower. Does that mean that you're, you put a lot of money in cash, personally? Uh, yes, I have, yes. And what and, do you think that's going to so do to your do business? If clients, you're right, yeah. what do you think it's going to do to your business for the rest of the year? Well, you know, uh, uh, market fluctuates. Uh, we've been in this business for 40 years. So, you know, it's, it's, we, we survived good times and bad times. Guys, this is the chairman and founder of one of the biggest brokerages out there. And he holds Bitcoin and he believes simply because other people are saying that it will go higher. I like this guy, but hear me out. Isn't it this the exact same way how individual investors are approaching certain stocks? Isn't it the way how the media is make, making fun of individuals that they're buying certain stocks that they expect it will go higher because other people are saying it will go higher and they have been making fun of it. Unsophisticated investors, dumb investors, uh, you know, any other bashing terms and, and suggestions. But when you see a guy that has been on the markets forever running one of the biggest uh, trading firms is saying that he's buying an asset such as Bitcoin. Uh, for a sake that other people are saying it will go higher, this is simply mind-boggling. He's laughing, he's having fun. And for clear context, he was the only person who actually said and confirmed that the short squeeze place and short squeeze stocks could go to inimaginable highs. He was the only one who actually confirmed that. I guess this is the moment when you actually receive the pure confirmation that the other people who feel more sophisticated, who feel more knowledgeable than me and you, maybe are not maybe they're just simply buying the hype like me and you but they're just too shy to actually confirm that who actually go out there and and be honest you know we purchased this because there was a hype there was a fomo this video is a pure representation that individual investor is not less speculator it's not uh, somebody who is actually creating the speculation the speculation over here is going extremely wide to the sophisticated and non-sophisticated side on the market but seeing such a honest reply from Thomas Petrify definitely deserves respect. I've been criticizing the platform from times to times, but definitely he has a point over here. And I believe majority of the Wall Street guys are buying and selling assets for the sake of the hype. There is no particular indicators that they have that could help them uh, clarify the value of the particular asset. They don't have a particular knowledge or, or, or certain, uh, you know, path that they could follow. They simply follow the individual investors, not to mention that the recent studies show that 50, 60 percent of the people who are on the markets on the institutional level are using Reddit. 
to make a financial decisions. How about this? So you're paying 1% to put your money into the hedge fund. Then you pay 3 to 5% out of the performance of the hedge fund. For the sake of person who is actually managing the, the money, is going on Reddit spending, uh, I don't know, 5, 6, 7 hours a day, uh, collecting, gathering, and getting ideas about investing, how to approach a particular asset. And in the end of the day, they might still lose money, right? And remember, if you truly believe that something doesn't have value, Going back to the example with Thomas Petrofi, why would you own it? Why would you buy it? Why would you trust other people? I really uh, hoped that the CNBC host asked Thomas Petrofi who actually listened, who inspired him, who Thomas Petrofi believes so much that he's saying that it will go higher that based on you know predictions of this third person, he will be buying, he will be investing, he will be holding. Uh, I don't think Thomas Petrofi bought Bitcoin at 60,000, right? I don't know, maybe he did. <laughs> but the risk associated of not taking the risk, according to what Thomas Petrify said, is greater. The risk of not having any positions in, in any of these hype FOMO assets, uh, you know, or market opportunities, is greater than not having position in it. Not a financial advice, but this is simply mind-boggling. I, I truly respect Thomas Petrify. I think he is a good person for debates on different topics. Yeah.